Bath salts, a drug we are hearing more and more about. It's been linked to several horrific cannibal attacks, so-called zombie attacks, and its use is skyrocketing across the U.S. To learn more about this bizarre new drug, we've brought in Dr. Thomas Genevy, a plastic surgeon. Dr. Genevy, first of all, tell us what exactly are bath salts? The bottom line is bath salts are basically designer drugs that are used to circumvent the Controlled or Illegal Substance Act of the DEA, but have similar effects to other drugs. Like methamphetamines, I've read. Are they anything like what we see in the grocery store or drugstore, those kinds of bath salts? No, they are not the same. That's a, a colloquial or just a street name in order to confuse law enforcement, basically. Well, why are they apparently causing people to savagely eat flesh? We have that horrific case in Miami where a man nearly tore off another man's face and, and ate it. And quite simply, they're causing hallucinogen, hallucinogenic breaks, uh, pro-psychotic episodes, and heavy stimulant episodes. Well, you're a plastic surgeon, and we do want to warn people. I mean, this next photo may be hard to look, uh, look at. You might want to close your eyes or look away. But we have a photo of the Miami man who was attacked, and we're blurring it because it is just awful. But during the attack, he lost his nose. He has no eye sockets any longer. I mean, how can his face be repaired? This guy's going to need four to five surgeries. Uh, he basically lost the top of his forehead. Um, he lost his left eye completely. was enucleated. Uh, the right eye has a patch, a skin patch over it to protect it from not losing complete eyesight. He lost about three quarters of his nose. Uh, so the other issue is that human saliva is very dirty, so he's going to have infections of these areas. He's going to require multiple surgeries. Well, Dr. Genevieve, thank you so much for joining us and helping us to better understand bath salts. Thank you.